Hey, um, I wanted to make a quick video on that time I unplugged my fridge. So um, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about what my lifestyle was like when I did it. I unplugged my fridge for about a year um, and it actually, it actually uh, did not turn back on when I plugged it back in. So I did have to replace the fridge, unfortunately. Uh, luckily, um, I kind of talked to my to my landlord about it. It wasn't my fridge. Um, but he said, no, that's okay. It was an old fridge anyway. I'm okay replacing it. It's fine. So, um, so I lucked out on that front, but I, you know, one of my friends said, plug it in every, every month or so. So that way it doesn't run out of juice and conk out. But I, I did that and it conked out anyway. So, um, be mindful of that if you want to try this experiment, but yeah, it might, it might, uh, not end happily ever after if you don't want to buy a new fridge. So, um, I did it and I think it was worthwhile. It definitely made me think about um, my my resources, how I use them and what I um, what I wanted to do in the, the future to um, in this respect. So I will kind of talk it through with you. Okay, so this is my fridge. This is kind of what I had, um, really nothing. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and close that up. Uh, nothing there, and then maybe just like a little bit in the freezer. So this is my in bulk um, freezer, freezer vibes. Um, not much in there. I saw that I wasn't using this big space month after month after month. I, you know, I've I'm single. I live alone, and I don't need. Um, a lot of stuff and so you know every once in a while I would kind of fill up more of the fridge but otherwise it was really just empty space and so it was a lot of electric going into this appliance that I wasn't really using that much so um, I did end up unplugging it and I appreciated that lifestyle I it was right before Thanksgiving which was not that smart actually um, because I ended up having oh gosh was it right before Thanksgiving or directly after Thanksgiving um, but um, I ended up needing to use um, my uh, I had to come up with an impromptu cold pantry um, for stuffs um, for the holiday season so um, I did end up using I had a like a mud room that was not really insulated. It was very cold. And so I used that for groceries for around the holiday season. Um, and a lot of it did freeze overnight. And then it, some of it was definitely not meant to freeze. And so it was done at that point. And some things were meant to be frozen and they, it kind of was a hit or miss. So, um, so it was an interesting experiment using the, the outdoor impromptu uh, cold pantry. You just never knew what was going to be frozen when and what, <laughs> when and how. So that was interesting. But tried it. Very interesting. Um, I learned a lot um, about about uh, my, you know, my preferences for foods. Um, I was going because of this. Um, I I was also tr doing a lot of grocery grocery runs, and you know, I had no place to store leftovers, so that was fine. I ended up, you know, just. I'd say maybe eating probably more than I should have, uh, and maybe throwing away more than I should have. Um, but I, that's, I did kind of land on just going to the grocery store every day and for other reasons too, it made practical sense for me to go every day, um, in my headspace anyway. Um, and so I was going a lot and I, I do feel like that kind of wasted a lot of time and my own personal energy versus just having it, you know, on standby, like in the pantry or in the fridge. Um, I could have changed that a little bit. Um, I also could have done more, you know, more of the, the dry storage and like, you know, but I don't, I don't like to do a lot of, um, preservatives. I don't like foods with a lot of preservatives. Um, you know, but I, I did, I did do a lot of the crackers, <laughs> a lot of crackers, I think during this time frame chips. So, um, so those were kind of standby staples that could have been purchased. And then I would not have necessarily had to go to the grocery store every day, but I kind of liked it. I felt a little more, you know, European, you know, French, Parisian going to get baguettes every day for breakfast, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, that was a different lifestyle for sure. Um, but, uh, like I said, a lot of, a lot of time was wasted in that. Um, a lot of my personal energy, um, some gas, a lot of gas, if I wanted to go up and get one of, you know, some of my favorite foods from a, a farther away grocery store. So gas, a lot of resources got wasted in that effort, um, going every day, but 
it was, you know, it was, it was what it was. Um, I will say, um, if I were to unplug the fridge, I know moving forward that I would like to have a smaller fridge. Um, I do not think this large space is necessary. Um, I would like to see maybe half of, you know, half to a quarter of this space. I, I don't need that much space. So a quarter of that space would probably suit my needs just fine. I like to have a really large freezer because I like to buy in bulk and then not go to the grocery store nowadays um, for a month or longer if possible. So, um, so I would wanna keep the same size freezer, if not have a little bit bigger of a freezer. Right now the freezer is fine. Um, so, so that's good. Um, it does still feel like a lot of energy uh, electric wasted, a lot of space kind of wasted on this one implement. Um, but I have seen a few interesting appliances out there that might suit my needs. Uh, so once I do have my own established place um, and I'm not renting, then I might look into a smaller, uh, tinier option, more sustainable option for my needs. Um, I did find that um, most of my electric bill, you know, living alone, I wasn't doing a lot. So um, so at home, so of course I had, you know, a 40 hour a week job plus some, you know, and, um, a couple of jobs. So I was, I was out of the house quite a bit. Um, but, um, I found that, um, unplugging this saved most of my electric bill. It probably halved it. Um, it was, uh, amazing. Um, I guess I, like I said though, you know, just like maybe one light on or two lights on, um, you know, <laughs> throughout the evening and, um, negligible computer work, um, for depending, you know, depending on the season, of course. Um, I just honestly needed to plug in my phone for the most part. Uh, <laughs> essentially, um, there was a baseline electric bill. You had to pay at least $15 and it was just maybe a little bit above that. So it was, it was nice not having this thing plugged in. Um, but I also, um, kind of did splurge a little bit electrically, um, because this was not, uh, plugged in. And I will show you what that electric was replaced by. My fridge electric was actually replaced by for the the you know January through probably April was kind of replaced by this luxury item, a uh, space heater, uh, fake fireplace, which I love very much. <laughs> it is one of my favorite places to sit. Uh, to be toasty warm. Very relaxing. It is my white noise for work time. Um, but uh, this kind of was the offset um, of the fridge. Uh, so I so um, I was able to save on that and then use a resource that I wanted to use and that I appreciated by, you know, exponentially more. I would say I did I guess I do, uh, in theory, take my fridge for granted, I would say. Um, and it's, I'd say lifestyle without the fridge was okay. Um, like I said, I did not mind a lot of the time going to the grocery store. Uh, it just became part of the routine. That was not hard. Um, if I were to do it again, I would probably do it differently. And I would not, I would probably have a little more in the pantry and less going to the grocery store every day. Um, but overall, I would say... Um, a fun experiment, um, a cool experiment, and I was amazed by how much electric could be saved if we just got a smaller fridge. So uh, that is my hope. Small fridge, uh, comparable freezer, and uh, we'll play it by ear. And of course, that, that might change it too if I do end up having, you know, a family of any size. Um, but yeah, and I, you know, I was kind of, there's another experiment. If I were to get a dog, then I would, I had an experiment in mind for vegan food. Um, and, <laughs> um, so he'd be eating what I'd be eating, um, with plus some probably, but, um, but, uh, just to, just an experiment there. So that might call for a larger fridge too, um, if eating, you know, feeding both of us, but, but yeah, so Kind of a fun experiment if you want to try it changed my perspective i'm gonna have a smaller fridge moving forward so Woohoo!